Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about what it was like in esthetician school. Um, this was actually a request, so I'm doing it. But first, I'm going to show you some things I got from Amazon and TJ Maxx. So if you're interested in that, or you just came to see me, then stay tuned. I'm going to do the um, TJ Maxx haul first because it's just a few things. <laughs> These necklaces. I got this aquamarine necklace and it's like real aquamarine. It's not a gem. And um, this is a crystal. I can't remember what the crystal was, but I'm sure that it's healing or protecting or something really cool like that. Um, I would just normally say, yes, it's a healing crystal. And just bullshit from there, but I'm gonna try it on but I'm you know what I actually am too fat to wear this dress now I got a size 6 and guys I hate to say this, but I'm not a size 6 anymore like I'm headed into the 8 8 area so um, Yeah, I got this really cute dress though. It's buttoned all the way down not all the way down Yes, all the way down. It's buttoned all the way down and um, It's not it's like denim colored, but it's not denim and then I got I got this dress. It's Betsy Johnson and it's just a black long like satin dress. This is what I was going to, you know, wear for New Year's, but then I just realized that there's not going to be a New Year's. Yeah, so COVID. There's not going to be a New Year's party. Go to a place and jump around with a lot of people and celebrate the new year by getting COVID. No thanks. First thing I got was these, uh, I got some hair accessories. And um, I got like these bandana things, which they, they're like really cute. Like a red and a white one too somewhere, but I don't have them with me at the moment. And then I got these little bows with their velvet and they have ri a ribbon on them. And they come in all these really pretty fall colors. So you see you've got the, the deep green, the berry red, and like this really pretty like brown. I love that color. I don't even know what this is, a bronzy brown color. But, um, and white, and this like really pretty pink. Like this is the color of my life back there. So yeah. Um, so now we're going to get to some of the clothes that I bought. Our just pull on white pants They're capris basically and I bought these to some of this stuff is like for next year obvi I bought that and I with that those pants I bought this shirt three inch like sleeves but it's just really pretty and if I get a chance I will try these on and insert like little clips like I used to do remember when I did that was as anybody here remember when I used to do that Okay, then I got this really cute, um, like jumpsuit me of Jean Harlow. Like it reminds me of like Great Gatsby or something that they would wear back then. It's really soft too. It's really soft, and it's just like a lounge, like an outfit that like I don't know Jean Harlow would wear or um, who was that actress? Katherine Hepburn, I feel like this would be something Katherine Hepburn would wear to go play golf with Howard Hughes. Like, anyways. The, oh, I got this, which is like a little jumpsuit. It's pants though, guys. <laughs> See? And this is like what I'm saying. This is like my style right now because while I'm um, 140 pounds at a size eight now, I just don't want to wear like skin tight things. I want to wear more loose things. I think this is the, the red one, but let's open it together, shall we? Because if it isn't, then it's something else that I got. Oh yeah, no, this is another, this is another thing I got. Okay, I have a red one of this coming sundress for like next year. And as you can see, it's more of that really nice loose behavior, loose, loose behavior, <laughs> loose behavior. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing when I flaunt around in this, um, exhibiting loose behavior, loose material. 
and it's just a really pretty sundress and I again I will try and wear some of these and then f I don't know take a picture or something this same type of uh, style in a romper in a blue romper so these are shorts and then it's basically strapless and it has a tie too and you know what's really cool is you can wear these you can like do this type of thing i honestly i didn't want to wear this uh around my stomach because like who wants to you know who wants to focus on that not me but i was like thinking of like doing a um you know like a, a headband type of thingy with this but i'm not going anywhere today so I'm making brownies, skillet brownies, you guys. Look out for that recipe coming to you. So then I got this Bring On The Sunshine shirt, and if, you were, if you're an Amazon, you've probably seen this. So I bought it just in case you wanted it, but you didn't know if it was soft. It's soft. It's nice and like stretchy too, so anybody can wear this of any size. And it's that really cool orange, bright, sunshiny color that I love. and. So then I got, oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this, but you've seen me in this. This is that blue dress that I wore in the uh, 20 things I learned in 2020. Rope ties. I don't know why, but anyways. Then I got two jumpsuits that are just cotton. I got one that's green. Now this looks like army fatigues, but it's not. It's tie dye, <sighs> but it kind of looks like army fatigues. And I didn't really want that, but if I go out in this, around here, telling you what, I get all the good guys, all the guys with guns like me. Okay, and then I got these two things and I've worn them on here before. But I just wanted to show you, in case you wanted to get some summer lounge clothes, these are just like little rompers, but they're really soft cotton and uh, they're pink and blue, my favorite colors. And again, they have that like great Gatsby, like I don't know what it is about that style, that like Gatsby, you know, Jean Harlow, kind of like, I guess, what is it, 20s, 30s type of jazz baby. I love that era. So yeah, hyaluronic acid with, um, what else does it have in it? With Panthenol. And this comes from one of those Korean, uh, places, uh, Korean shops in Amazon. A segue into what it was like in esthetician school. So if you're done with me now, because uh, that's all you want to see with the hauls, uh, see you soon and uh, thanks for joining us. And if you are here for the stories about esthetician school, then stay tuned. So esthetician school, let's see. I went to Flor a school in Florida, and I just wanna say before anything, Florida is one of the easiest places to get your esthetician license in the world. I mean, I don't know what it's like in Europe, but this is a really, uh, it's an easy state to pass. It's very easy. You, um, you could actually work before you get your license if you're registered in esthetician school. But um, it was a six month course, it was night classes or well they did day classes but I chose to do night classes and um, yeah let's see the first day that I the first night that I went I was really nervous of course because you don't know who you're gonna be you, you're gonna be with but they were all young of course there was a couple of people in their 30s so I didn't feel too bad with like almost grown children I think one woman had grown children so that made me feel really good. But if you're going in there and you're an older person, you know that you're gonna have like young people. Now, the funny thing about that is, is that I have the type of personality that just, I go in and bulldoze and I'm just me. And that's what I suggest you doing, you who's watching this. Just go in and be you. Because life is too short, to be honest. And you're gonna, the real you is gonna come out because this is an intimate thing, which you're about to do. It's a school, but it's school where you have to be in each other's faces. You're gonna be like bare, naked, not naked, naked, but 
I think everybody saw my tits at that school because, um, well, I got burned. I don't know, did I tell you guys that? I got, I got like a third degree burn on my arm one night and um, I like jumped up way and you know, so I, everybody saw me, but uh, like, I guess my point is, is that you, this is an intimate setting because it's so like in your face, cause it's learning about the skin. You have to be comfortable, go in being yourself, feel good about yourself, don't, if you have acne, great, cause guess what? The best people that come out of esthetician school and the best estheticians and dermatologists all had acne. That's why they went into the school. That's why there's this girl that's going into medical, or she's going to medical school to get to be a dermatologist. She had acne, I have had acne. I still have it, what am I saying? I still break out from hormones. Um, yeah, there was a few girls in there that had um, troubled skin. And then there was, you know, then there was the, the girls in there that have perfect skin. But, you know, it's, it's really rare. It's really, really rare that anybody has perfect skin. I'm going to be honest. It's like, there was this black woman had beautiful skin. She didn't have a flaw on her face. It was annoying. But other than that, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Everybody else had either blackheads, uh, you know, large pores, dry patches. I mean, it's everything from, you could just go down the line. So don't worry about that. That's what you're there for, is to learn about that stuff. So that's one of my uh, tips, is to be yourself. Um, let's see, uh, I was lucky and fortunate. I didn't have any catty bullshit come to play. One time, this one girl like sort of try, tried me a little bit um, and she sort of like made a joke about how I was waxing and um, like everybody laughed and I, I straight up just said, I don't think it's funny. And then everybody felt awkward and then I laughed <laughs> at the awkward silence because <laughs> see, I'm like the kind of person where Mm, you know, if I have to feel bad, then you have to feel bad. And, and that's just because if you made me feel bad, then you have to feel bad now. And it's very rare that I can't make the person who made me feel bad feel worse. It's very rare, very rare. I mostly have been able to master that skill through years of practice. But um, yeah, so yeah, if somebody uh, laughs at you, let me tell you this. They're the asshole because guess what? Everybody's there to learn and nobody knows what they're doing and nobody knows how to do these things. I mean, no one was there who was an esthetician before and decided to take the classes again for what? No, that's not how it works. So if you mess up, so what? That's what you're going to do. You're going to mess up. And I had, um, Oh yeah, I was like waxing her arm and she had really hairy arms. And so it was very difficult to, to wax her because I was doing the strips. If I would have, if I'd have had the hard wax, that would have been different, but I was doing the strips. And so it was like patchy and uh, I really didn't know what, I mean, I, it, it was funny actually. It's funny now that I look back at it because like I sent her home with a hot mess of an arm, but I guess I wasn't really, I think my mind wasn't really on waxing that night. And so sometimes, you know when you have those days when you're just like, your mind is on something else and then, but you have to still work or go to school. It was like that, but at the same time, she shouldn't have like made a little joke and laughed at me. And the other girls shouldn't have joined in because see, then I said, yeah, what I said, I said what I said, basically, and everybody felt really awkward. And then it was one of those things where it's like people sort of got mad at her for doing it. And then she felt like she had to like tiptoe around me for like the next day, <laughs> which I don't care. Like, I don't know if that's a Pisces trait. I really don't. But like, I'm not going to have somebody like make fun of me and then not make them feel really bad for doing it. Like... And I don't mean bad, like I, they feel guilty. They feel scared. They're like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have tried this one, you know? And if you do that, people will try you less and less and less. It's very rare that anyone will try me. Honestly, I'm trying to think. Nobody dares do it. Nobody does it now. I mean, like, I, 
my family doesn't do it, that's for sure. They don't even really invite me to places because, yeah. I just don't have a filter. I have no filter. And if you make, if you make some little smarmy comment, ooh, then I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna use that and then bah. Anyways, uh, let's see, what else? That was a tangent. Um, this was a Dermalogica certified school. So we had to learn all the Dermalogica ways and we had to learn all of, we had to take Dermalogica online classes. So there was a whole bunch of online classes you had to take and you had to get certified from Dermalogica. I still don't to this day know if everyone did that. I know me and this girl that I, uh, is a good friend now, she did it. We were the first two to do it, but I don't know if anybody else did it. Oh, I know what I was gonna say about um, like the age thing. I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just saying that, you know, when I went in there, I was the oldest one, but the person that I bonded with the most was the 19 year old, the youngest one there. Me and her were like this. Now, I don't know if that says something about me as a immature twat, I don't know, but I mean, I just got along with the 19 year old the best. I mean, she was a Leo, so I think that's probably why, but I mean, we just hit it off. So um, yeah, you never know who you're gonna meet and what their age is gonna be. And like I said, age is just a number and who cares? I'm sure that I won't feel that way when I'm way, way older and I'm getting discriminated against, but I'm gonna really try and fight that all the way. So, you know, I'll still be acting like this, I'm sure. I don't know, maybe not. I'll probably be humbled to my knees. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, so yeah, the Dermalogica, we had to learn um, like a massage type of, a European massage type, a Dermalogica massage style. Um, the facials, we learned facials, we learned der uh, dermabrasion, that was fun you know, because it really cl clears out your pores, the dermabrasion. We didn't spend a lot of time on that. I wish we could have spent more time on that, to be honest. Um, uh, we learned derma planning, but that was actually a separate advanced class that the people that were in school got to take, and then alumni would get to take it too. Um, and it was a whole day, and it was really, we got, you got certified at the end of it, so that's, like with the scalpel when you remove the hair on the face. That was really fun too. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Waxing, of course, you know, waxing um, legs, underarms, lip. Um, we didn't do, nobody wanted to, nobody wanted to, um, you know, volunteer for the Brazilian. <laughs> I don't know if they teach that in actual, other estheticians, I don't think they do. I think that that's, you learn everything else and then if that's what you're going into, if that's specialties you're going to, into, you probably will learn at the place that you, that you go to get the job. They'll, they'll teach, they'll train you how they want you to do it. I mean, that's most places anyways, let's face it, they train you how they want it. But that's it really. The, the thing that I'll tell you is your face is probably gonna break out because you're gonna be doing things to your face all the time and you're gonna be like having facials. On the one plus side of this, your face will always be clear of blackheads and any kind of gunk or debris because like every night you go to school, you usually get your face done by somebody else and so it's really great. Like I felt so good after a facial that I wanted, I like offered to always be under the, you know, under somebody because like I just always love the facials and yeah that was it it's really fun it's you meet people that you probably talk to for the rest of your life I feel like I will definitely talk to at least one or two girls I met my teacher I'm actually may possibly be going into business with my teacher I don't know yet I mean we're just talking right now but we're really good friends now so um yeah, I just think that it was it's a really good experience and if you love um beauty and uh makeup and all we did learn we did learn makeup but we did not learn um enough. I I felt like I wanted to take I I felt like honestly after this course that I wanted to go into cosmetology school and finish cosmetology school cuz I started in cosmetology school when I was 19 and I had to quit because I had to work. So 
I couldn't do both. You know these people that go to school and, and go to work? You guys are warriors. I mean, you guys are the greatest people ever, but I cannot do that. I have to either go to work or I have to go to school. It's like, I can't do both. I'm certainly not full time. But um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to go to beauty school after I was done with this because I wanted to learn makeup and color theory and all that. You, we learned color theory, but it wasn't like the focus. The focus was on the skin and of course, that's what the focus is gonna be on. But I was like, the eyebrows, we did, la oh, we learned lashes. Um, that's really difficult. And again, I say they will train you at the place that you go. You know, you just have to go and get hired and then they will train you. You can also take classes from like my friend, um, Carolina. She is now certified to, t to teach classes um, doing lashes. So you can, um, I, I could link it below if you want. Um, yeah, so it, it was great. It was a great experience and I, I'm glad I went and uh, I think that you will have a lot of fun and I hope if you have any comments, if you have any questions or anything like that about anything in this video, just leave them below and I will talk to you soon, guys. Okay, bye.